Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Gold, and I'm excited to bring to you my very first screencast. And what better way to kick it off than by talking about two things. First, to integrate a really great feature that you all know I like so much, and that is the copy note linking with your GTD setup. But importantly, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate that copy note linking with an amazing service called followupthen.com. I'm going to integrate your GTD setup, I'm going to ramp up your productivity, and we're going to do it in less than five minutes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. In this first example, what I'm going to show you is the power of linking your tasks with your project-related reference material in Evernote. So what you're looking at right now is a very simple note. Well, let's say that this note has to do something with, let's say, the project ABC Corp that we are working on. So we tag it with Project ABC Corp. Now let's say that we have a new task that is related to this particular note. So what we do is we create a note and say we have to draft a presentation for the ABC Corp meeting. And as you have read from my ebook, I like to tag this with the appropriate context, in this case it's the computer, and it's related to my project ABC Corp. And finally, I know that this is a next action item that I must get to. Now here's the thing. This happens to be due by November 15th. Now as you all know from reading my ebook or even my blog, what I like to do now is during my reviews, look at all my next action items, and everything in my context list and decide what has to be carried over to my today list. And during my weekly review, I always take a look at all of my action items. Well, let's say though that you want to be reminded about what is going to be due on November 15th. Well, so now how do you connect my task of drafting a presentation with this note that I have over here? Well, with copy note linking is very easy to do. I'm going to right click on my note and select copy note link. I'm going to go back over to my task and I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to insert that Evernote copy link. Click on paste OK and now what you can see is just by clicking on this link over here it's going to bring me right to the note that I need to look at. My project related reference material that I need in order to successfully draft a presentation for the ABC Corp. Now let's take it a step further. I know that this is due on November 15th, but I want to be reminded of that. What is the best way of being able to do that? Well now I'd like to be able to introduce to you an amazing service called followupthen.com. And what you're looking at right now is followupthen.com. It touts itself as being free and easy email reminders. It is the easiest way to remind yourself of something that needs to get done in the day and or time increment that you want to be reminded. You could put something in the two box, CC or even BCC of an email. Let me show you quickly how this works. As you can see over here, there are various ways that you can send yourself an email reminder. It's something as small as one minute, two hours, three days, even six years. You can do days of weeks, uh, tomorrow, next week, next month even do specific dates and date and times and you can even do recurring reminders it is so easy to remind yourself of things that you need to get done by using follow up then there is also a premium account that you can also utilize the premium account is great because you can add additional emails to your follow up then account add your logo so it's branded every time you send a follow up then email to a colleague or even to a client you can add attachments to your email reminder. You can have SMS reminders, etc. Really super great and for $24 a year, it's like a no-brainer to do. The best part is, as you've probably been able to figure out so far, is that there's no interface at all to mess around with. So back over here in Nevernote, I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to integrate both follow up then and our GTD setup. So remember, this is due by November 15th, but obviously we want to work on this before November 15th. So what we're going to do is click on the share button over here, and I'm going to send a reminder to myself that I need to start drafting this 
presentation for the ABC Corp meeting, let's say in two days. And I click on send, and that's all there is to it. And now you're looking at my email, and you can see that in my inbox, I have a confirmation email from follow up then telling me that here is my follow up that has been scheduled. And it's really nice. It says, We've got you covered. We'll send you a reminder about drafting the presentation on Thursday, November 3rd. Now, how cool is that? Now, you can see that I've created here this today filter so that all of my reminders automatically get filtered right over here. And you can see there is a list of my follow ups, and here is one that already occurred a reminder call David about closing the ABC Corp case. And then what I do back in Evernote is I would remove this next tag and I'd remind myself this has got to get done today. I did slap on that today tag right over there. And you could see that now I remember that I need to get it done today because I reminded myself about it using follow up then. And I've got my list of everything I need to get done today. And there you have it. A very easy way of being able to integrate this great copy note linking in order to get things done more effectively and utilizing this amazing service called Follow Up Then. Adds very little friction to your GTD and Evernote setup. So that's it for me, and I hope you all have an incredibly productive and successful rest of the week and a productive rest of the year. Take care, and until next time, I'm Daniel Gold.